I am Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're a first time viewer, uh, please click that subscribe button that's down there and click that little bell notification icon if you're a returning uh, subscriber or viewer. Thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to go over uh, today is if you have used my uh, OpenVPN on Synology video, uh, we are going to tweak the OpenVPN configuration so that all of your traffic from your mobile device, your laptop, whatever, flows through the VPN connection, and then uh, also all of your DNS goes to that Synology. So previously, and I'll leave a link somewhere uh, to that video, you should have OpenVPN installed. You should also have the DNS server installed. So we're gonna open up that OpenVPN file and we're gonna tweak that configuration. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is open your OpenVPN configuration file. And I use Notepad++, you can use whatever text editor you like, but these are the two changes that we're gonna make. If you want all the traffic to completely flow from your client through your OpenVPN server, whether this is uh, Synology, whether it's uh, OpenVPN that you've, you're hosting out on the cloud, or that you're hosting on a Linux box internally, or you know whatever, wherever your OpenVPN is, these are the changes that we're gonna make. We're gonna come down here to this redirect gateway option, and you'll see that it's commented out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away that comment, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna force all traffic to go through the VPN and out of the uh, VPN, whatever, wherever that server sits, its internet connection. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is since we are running DNS on the Synology, we don't want our DNS queries um, necessarily to go out to some other DNS server. So we're gonna put the IP address of our Synology right here in this config file. And then what's gonna happen is all of those queries are gonna hit our internal DNS server. And that's it, if you're, you know, you're worried about your traffic and you want everything to go through your connection, those are the only two changes you need to make and you should be good to go. All right, so that's it for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know. If you need any IT consulting, you can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and somebody will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. I wanna thank all of you for being here. All of our affiliate links that don't change your price but kick a couple bucks over here, they're down below as well. Thank you to everyone for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.